Hey, you're watching Big Lou Barbecue and other things I want to do. And this is sort of a little channel update for you and a little thank you to some folks. And uh, it's not really a recipe, even though I'm putting this out on Cast Iron Wednesday. One of the thank yous is I got something in from Lodge. Yeah, yeah, Lodge, I know. Why me? All right. Hey, recently I did a review of this carbon steel skillet for Lodge. And uh, that link will be down below. And recently I've been cooking off on the uh, Lodge Kickoff Grill, their new cast iron grill. Also recently I got a grill grate for my um, Lodge Sportsman's Grill from Carolina Chris Outdoors. This was um, instituted by um, Dream Creations and Adventures and um, he answered one of her things and said, I've got an extra grate I could send to Big Lou. And he sold it to me for basically at cost. I feel kind of guilty about that. Maybe I need to send Chris something. If I had stickers, I'd send Chris something. Anyway, uh, I think I will. Look, um, I recently did a review for Lodge for this uh, carbon steel skillet. I love it. It was a few months back, but I love the carbon steel skillet. And um, I cooked last night, I cooked some ribeyes on that Lodge Sportsman's Grill. And uh, before I cooked ribeyes, I sauteed down some leeks in this very carbon steel skillet. I know, carbon steel on cast iron Wednesday? Come on, Rolo. Well, it was on a cast iron grill, so that's cool, right? And um, then I cooked some ribeye steaks. Now, that was the second cook. The first cook I made with that uh, sportsman grill, the new sportsman's grill, top. The old sportsman's grill is my old one, right? Uh, first cook I made was some fish the other night. Now, uh, once Chris sent me that thing, I re-seasoned my uh, sportsman's grill. I re-seasoned it six times in that oven right behind me because, um, I put the stuff in the vinegar on Friday and then on Sunday I took it out, cleaned it up and I seasoned it on Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night. Yeah, six times. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Monday I started cooking on it. I was out of town over the weekend when I came back in uh, on Sunday evening, I had this package from Lodge. Why did Lodge send me something? I don't know. I don't know. You'd think they'd tell me too, but they didn't tell me. Did I just show you my address? I hope I didn't. All right, let me show you what's in here. There's a postcard from South Pittsburgh, Tennessee. So you think, okay, there's a postcard, but guess what's on the back? Nada, zilch, nothing. All right, but hey, guess what? I got this cool can koozie from Lodge. It says, bake it. Mm -hmm. It says, bake it real good. Yep, got the can koozie. Now there's some other couple things in here I'm gonna show you. Stickers, what's the deal with stickers? All these YouTube channels and even Lodge Cast Iron got stickers. I guess I gotta get stickers. I don't know. I haven't been interested in stickers since junior high. All right. Uh, bake it. Bake it real good. All right. Got that from Lodge. Still open in the package. All right. A lapel pin with the cast iron egg. This one right here that says, uh, oh gosh, I'd have to put my reading glasses on for this one. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It's sort of hippie-ish. I forgot what it said. It said... All you need is Lodge, you know, like the Beatles song. All you need is Lodge, right? All right, there you go. And um, you know, like these, I like these, but that's my reading glasses right there. Mm -hmm. All right, got another pin. Keep it Dutchy or let's go Dutch. There you go. Let's go Dutch, that's what it says. All right, and Lodge. So yeah, I got like three uh, of these kind of pin, button pins. A lapel pin, if I have a suit, you know, because I might want to just, you know, put a lodge lapel pin on there, right? Hat pin, maybe I could use it as a hat pin, right? Um, bake it sticker, sticker, can koozie, blank postcard. Thanks, Lodge. I don't know why they sent it to me, but they got, and I don't even know how they got the address. But like a, a friend of mine told me, she said, you're on their radar. You're on their radar. All right. Hey, thanks for watching Big Lou Barbecue. And um, I know I'm not cooking anything, but I showed you some of the things I cooked on the Sportsman's Grill. Carolina Chris, thank you for that top. And uh, y'all, I'll be cooking on the Sportsman's Grill and the Kickoff Grill on my channel. And, um, you know, because if you've watched my channel, any my family has changed drastically over the past six months. And um, 
as my wife has passed away. My daughter's at boarding school, so it's really just my son and I. And uh, in the past, I would say I cook family meals, not fancy meals. But you know, now it's just pretty much gonna be my son and I, so I'm cooking for two. So a lot of my meals are gonna be smaller meals and budget-friendly meals and uh, stuff like that. Every now and then I might throw in something that's a little fancy and romantic type meal for two. But anyway, um, that's pretty much it. So these, these Lodge cast iron grills are gonna be on my channel a lot because I don't need my big gaucho grill um, for most of my f normal cooking unless I'm entertaining or something. But I will be cooking on the gaucho grill. I will be cooking on the kettle grills. I will be cooking in my drum smokers. But you're gonna see the small cast iron grills a lot on my channel because that's really all I need at this stage of my life. Hey, thanks for watching Big Lou Barbecue.